this presentation is to investigate the analytical method to examine fracture analysis of crack and strip founded to a magnitude electrodastic layers as a little bit. The outlines are introduction, which is the one to solve sub parts to refer the problem. Dislocation based fracture mechanics and motivation of this study is present in the last section of introduction. In this next section, we deal with formulation of the problem. In the next section, when multiple crack problems is presented in a coating substrate structures. And the last sections, we refer to cracks in S3 bounded to macroelectrolytic layers. And some references are presented as these. Geometry of the problem is present in this slide. You see here that we have substrate which is made of orthotropic materials with curved crack and we have a layer which is made of magnetoelectrolytic electrolytic layer. The bonding of the layer to the orthotropic substrate is not perfect. And we use imperfect bonding between magnetoelectrolytic layer and orthotropic substrate. With the use of distributed dislocation technique in this presentation, we employ and apply this method to solve the problem. The main problem with the cracked and external loads divided two problems. The first problem is the elasticity problem. In defectless material, we should find the traction on the crack location. In the, in the defectless material, we don't need crack. In the second and main problem, the corrective solution model by distribute of the dislocation along the crack. With the sum of these two sub-problems, we reach at the main problem, the material with cracks. This respect a complete distribution of this location may be obtained by simple addition or integration of solution for single dislocation. The distributed dislocation solution is a solution of Green's function. We can use the solution of one dislocation as a Green's function for the crack problems. For this reason, we can use this method for multiple crack without any limitation of number of crack, and we can use it for uh, curve crack. The motivation of this study, this technique has some advantage over the others. The problem is the simple boundary value problem in mathematical point of view. The analysis of interaction of multiple crack without limitation of number of crack is possible, as mentioned before. The number, the crack may have an arbitrary pattern and orientation. And the last one is a stress analysis of medium with a curve crack is possible with this method. The variety of the publications, as seen here, uh, the strength of this method is presented. At first step, we can we should use we should use this distribution distributed dislocation technique to solve the problem. Constitutive equation for a magnetoelectroelastic layer and orthotropic substrate layer are as from presented in the equation one. The governing equation of orthotropic layer is expressed as in equation two. Solution of equation two with the help of Fourier transform equation two contain a crack, an orthotropic layer. The solution of this equation with the help of Fourier transform is, up, is taken in the form as equation 3. The condition representing the continuity and limiting condition in this problem are the first three conditions are the traction free, displacement free, and magnetic field condition on the layer. And the last one is presented is the dislocation condition, multivaluedness of the displacement, and continuity of stress, which is present, which are presented in equation four. They account for possible damage occurring on the interface. We assume the belt coating substrate interface is imperfect. It is assumed that the interface is damaged mechanically. 
which is modeled by a spring type relation as follows, which is appeared in equation 5. Where k is the spring constant, quantifying the bounding imperfection at the interface. With the use of this constant, we can use it for imperfect coding substrate structure with cracks. After some late sleep manipulating and mathematically, which is reported in the paper, stress field and electric displacement containing this location are appeared in this slide in equation X. As shown here, we can find the singular term, the first term of our stress components is the singular term Cushy singular type, which is well known singularity features in these problems. And the integral in the second term are regular and we have not any problem in computation. In this section, formulation of problem after finding the Green's function solution is possible. Integral equation. In this section, in, in this slide, we construct the main problem. Suppose this location with unknown density are distributed on the infinitesimal segment at the crack phase. The system of singular integral equation can be written in the following form, which is appeared in equation 7. Due to Bikner's superposition principle, the left hand side of equation 7 is a stress field at the presumed location of the crack with negative sign to choose and, uh, and after the, some manipulating, we can rewrite this equation. The integral equation must be solved under the following single value in the subcondition. A well-known condition we can find in fracture mechanics. The dislocation density for singularity are taken as equation 9. And the stress intensity factor, after finding the unknown function g in uh, integral equation 7, we can find g, and after that, we can use it for, uh, we can use it to find the stress intensity factor of the cracks, which is appeared in equation 10. Summary. At first, we solve the problem of solid with a dislocation as a Green's function solution of the problem. In the next step, we distribute the dislocation to model the cracks for the integral equation for dislocation density as the unknown of the <coughs> integral equation by satisfying the crack boundary conditions. Then, solve the integral equation to find dislocation density with some collocation methods. After that, after the find the dislocation density function as an unknown, we determine the stress intensity factor of the cracks. As a first example, as shown here, the variation of normalized stress intensity factor with coding thickness for a different ratio of shear modeling is present. As is shown here, when the when the thickness of the layer increases we see the stress intensity factor decrease. And in the next example, we can solve this problem for a rotating crack for different boundary condition. The perfect and imperfect one. We examine two cases. The perfect one for, uh, for the k equals to infinity and the imperfect one k equals to zero as shown in this figure. At theta equals to zero, the maximum traction on the crack is the curve. For this reason, we have maximum stress intensity factor. For other orientation of the cracks, for example, theta equals to pi or two, we see the traction of the crack equals to zero. For this reason, the stress intensity factor goes to zero, as shown in this figure. The similar trend as we've shown when the theta increase from pi over 2. In the next example, the interaction between two cracks. The first crack, L1, R1, is fixed and the next one rotating around its centers. For different orientation of the crack, you can see the variation of the normalized stress intensity factor. As you see here, for rotating crack, when theta equals to zero, the traction on the crack is zero. For this reason, for this reason, the stress intensity factor goes to zero. 
both interaction of two crabs is examined in this example. In the next example, normalize the stress intensity factors for two circular arc crabs as a curve crab examined. You can see here, V equals to crack lengths. When the crack lengths increase, the stress intensity factor increases rapidly. And you can see here the effect of G as an orthotropic parameter of the materials. We have some other examples, but not given here for time limitations. Some references that uh, some with now journals submitted to the Wendland journal and published in these journals. The variety of the solved problems with the distributed dislocation technique is important for us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.